Gaspar, tô de casa. Bom dia. Bom dia. E aí, vamos conhecer os baruzeiros aí? Ah, mãe. É. Então, essa aqui é a típica propriedade do agricultor familiar. Ele, então, aqui na propriedade, ele tem uma diversidade, uma riqueza muito linda de, de culturas, né? Então, a propriedade vai até onde? Tem aquelas árvores ali, não? Isso, é até lá onde você está vendo o corte do cerradão. E acho que em termos ambientais, né, essa, essa multiplicidade de culturas é muito melhor para a natureza do que uma monocultura que extrai todos os nutrientes do solo e que degrada o solo. Né? O produtor rural ele cuida do solo, diferente das grandes empresas que exploram muito a terra e se a terra fica é, infértil, ele abandona e vai para outra terra. Brazil is the epicenter of climate change. The whole way we develop our country was basically on, on agricultural frontier expansion. So we were expanding, consuming our natural resources, and that generated lots of loss of biodiversity and degradation. And it's a huge contribution to the climate change that we are facing. At the same time, we are one of the most unequal countries in the world. And in the rural and forest areas, poverty and vulnerabilities are very strong. These are populations who are not used to having support for business to grow. They are in the survival mode. So Connexus is focusing on this problem of how to create a bioeconomy that is inclusive of the communities and people who live in the forest, who live in the rural areas, and at the same time protect the standing forest and the other biomes that are under threat. In identifying the problem, we came up with three main strategies. The first one is building capacity of community businesses. The second one is trying to find opportunities for innovative financing for them. And the third one is market solutions. So if I zoom in on the first area, it is looking at the capacity building of cooperatives. E quanto que a Copa Base paga no quilo da Baru? Me parece que é 30. There's a specific team that goes out, meets with a lot of cooperatives. They make an assessment, understanding where in a development journey a cooperative, a community business is, understanding their specific needs in order to strengthen the organization and grow their products into broader markets. Porque hoje nós está, principalmente o pequeno produtor está sofrendo muito com a questão de valores, né? Porque o que você tem que comprar, tipo adubação, semente de milho, de sorgo para fazer plantar, então está muito caro. The second approach of Connexus in working with community businesses is really trying to look at innovative financing mechanisms, how to innovate and get working capital to those cooperatives, because that's what they really need. So we work with Rural Credit, as credit agents of Bank of Amazonia, to offer credit with technical assistance to producers. On the other hand, we created a Connexus Fund, which is a financial vehicle of Connexus, to be able to offer finance, specifically short-term finance, for community enterprises. Facilitou né, que a gente estava precisado né, desse dinheiro, aí que deu essa ajuda já pra, na construção do barco. O barco vai servir para transportar o açaí, né, para poder vender mais. Né? Nós temos farinha de mandioca, rapadura, açúcar mascavo, açafrão, coloral, Tudo isso são os seus cooperados que fazem. As a third area of work for Connexus, we look at markets for sustainable products from the Amazon, from other biomes, both at the national level to see how can we have innovative ways of finding new markets, or even looking at innovative ways of developing new types of products, but also looking at the international markets and see how can the products from the Amazon have a better value within these global value chains. Connexus it showed the world that it's possible to bring economy and environment into connection. You don't have to deforestate to get development. You can have development 
with forest. The ultimate goal we want is to help Brazil reduce deforestation rates and degraded areas and improve standing forest conservation and management. The same population that is preserving our natural resources, living in the forests, are those most in need of an economy that will help them become resilient to both climate change and also to make a living. I think we are just in the beginning of this journey.